Hi folks, time for another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. I thought it'd be great to do a little tutorial. So let's just uh, see what happens uh, with these and tell me if you like these kind of sessions. So this pertains to some questions that I've been getting on Big Data, Big Questions. So if you have any questions, always put them in the comment section below. But this one is like, hey, how do you get started? So talked a lot about, hey, you know, download the Hortonworks sandbox or talking about Azure or AWS or using any of those tools. So in this episode, we're going to highlight how to just start off with the Hortonworks sandbox so that you can start understanding what it's like to be a data engineer and get some hands on. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump right in. Um, and I've already went ahead and downloaded because it'll take a little bit of time. But here at the Hortonworks site, you can go to the downloads and it says download sandbox. And what you want to do is you want to start off with one of the sandboxes here. So you can use VirtualBox, you can use VMware, uh, you can use the Docker one. I haven't used the Docker one before, um, but you can also, I will say, there's a way to do it uh, with Azure. So with, if you have an Azure account, you can actually download a, a sandbox and start there. But we're going to do is we're going to download the uh, VMware version here, and we're going to deploy that. So I've already downloaded it. It'll take a little bit of time. Don't panic if it takes time. Just, you know, go and drink some water. Wait while it downloads. So let's get into this session here. All right, so I have it downloaded here and I'm just gonna click on it and we're gonna start to try to start this. So I'm using VMware Workstation and I've actually just started off the import here. So as this kind of clicks on, it'll take you know a little bit of time as we click through. So let's just see what happens here. And it's done. And wow, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> so now we can jump in. So we've got the import done. And, you know, I, I really probably should have thought about how long it was going to take because it is like, a, I think it's like a 20 gig file. So let's power up this machine and see if it works. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yes, I will allow it to make changes. So as this is spinning up, Maybe this one won't take as long as the import and looks like we're going to get cracking here soon. Okay, so that wasn't fast either, but you should have your cluster up and running. So you should be able to see it now. And you can see, all right, so you can SSH into uh, your cluster or you can just open up here using uh, HTTP in your browser. So let's see if this works and hopefully Everything will be running fast and we can walk through setting up a first sandbox, which should be set up at this point. Let me see here. 49. Awesome. So just here in the uh, browser bar, I've just walked in. So we get a couple things here we can go through. Um, this is brand new to me, actually. So the sandboxes that I used in the past did not look like this. So there's an advanced HTTP. <clears throat> and then here's a walkthrough with tutorials. I'm going to go into the advanced, see what happens. Ah, so we can go to Ambari here. So I'm going to go straight into Ambari, which I'm used to. Let's see if I can figure this out. So I think it's admin. Admin is what it used to be. And does not see, or maybe it's admin Hadoop. Let's see. No. So, all right. Man, so used to be admin, admin, the very secure password. Um, I'm going to save that. Sure. Awesome. So you can see here that it looks like our cluster is just starting up. We've got a ton of warnings here. <laughs> so we need to get these services started up. And you can see, like, here's HDFS, here's Yarn, here's MapReduce. And I'm going to pull out to the services here and see if we can't start. So let's get some of these started. And while that's hopefully kicking off, what we're going to do is we're going to go back in and let's see if we can't well, go back to splash screen too, because I just want to look. So if you're just starting out, you might want to start here in the new to HTTP, please disable pop-up blocker. And this one's coming open and, but it's 
looks the same here. Last hour, services, hosts. So if we can't start all services, and this should already be working here. I don't know what's going on? Ah, there, there we go. So start all services is working through right now for our user. So once again, we have to wait just a little bit, but I promise we're getting close. We should be able to walk through some of this stuff real quick and see our cluster. All right, after another brief pause, we got all of our services started. So our cluster should be up and should be running. So for the most part, we've got everything. Like, so we've got some things that are red here, but we're not gonna worry about those. If uh, you wanted to start off and start going with HBase, uh, you, can, you can walk through this. I've actually got some stuff on my blog uh, that kind of walk through some of the errors here. And really behind the scenes, some of it is just brute force just trying to restart some of these. But we have our components working like with HDFS and MapReduce. So one thing I wanted to jump back through, I talked about this was new and we, we clicked around this, but if you're new to HDP, one of the things that pulls up is uh, all of these tutorials here. So I kind of was looking through those as I was starting these up, but you can actually go through and learn some of the ropes of HDP and go through troubleshoot your environment. So it kind of goes through the steps that we've already done. So we've already started up our VMware environment and we're logged into the browser right now, but you can see, let's go down here. You can go through and see some of the things in the configurations around Ambari. Um, and then it'll show you, you know, some other tutorials. One of the cool things that, I, you know, in the previous versions that I looked at, we didn't really have before is uh, there's already data loaded. So I'm gonna come back out, go to the dashboard, and I'll just show you where your data is. And so you can see, you can go to this file viewer here. And as that's loading up, you can see all these different points of data, right? So you can see here, I think one of the tutorials talks about uploading some data to the temp. Um, if you're doing any data that you're uploading, it is easiest just to do it here in this temp directory um, from a permissions perspective. But this is, you've got HDFS in your environment. Now you can actually go through some of these tutorials. Um, obviously, you know, I've got a course all around HDFS from the command line. I've got courses on Pig Latin and other, you know, other things on Pluralsight. Welcome to go through those. I, I go in, I'll go in depth about how to set up this environment or Cloud Era or some of the other some of the other ways to jump into uh, HDFS and get started. There's always some tutorials here. Like I said, we were just looking at some of those, so feel free to walk through and start taking part in those. And then on my website, I've got quite a few uh, tutorials um, with all the code samples. So there's some of it's on GitHub, but you know, all through the blog post, I try to put the code snippet so that you can actually just pull some of the code down video camera, auto powered off. Um, but there's always some code snippets that you can go through to go through some of these tutorials. So um, just wanted to set up and show you how to get started. So I had a lot of questions around what are some of the ways to get started. So this is one of the options here with the Hortonworks Sandbox. So hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think. Uh, did you like these types of courses? Did you want me just to get back in front of the camera and do more topics? Um, I thought I was just trying to mix it up. So give me some feedback so I know what videos to make and if you have any questions, uh, maybe we go in a little bit deeper on the sandbox. So let me know. Until next time, see you again on Big Data, Big Question.